Hello all, in today's video, we will see the merits and demerits of arithmetic mean. Firstly, coming to the merits of arithmetic mean, it is rigidly defined by an algebraic formula. Arithmetic mean is given by summation of all the values divided by the number of values. So everyone using this formula will get the same answer irrespective of any external factors. That's why we say that arithmetic mean is rigidly defined by an algebraic formula. Secondly, is it is easy to understand and calculate. We have seen that the formula for calculating mean is very simple and you require just basic mathematics like addition, multiplication and division to calculate it. That's why it's very easy to understand and calculate. Thirdly, it is based upon all the observation. We take all the observations in our calculation to calculate the arithmetic mean. We do not skip any observation. Thus, the mean that we get is a true representation of all the observations. Next is, it is amenable to further algebraic treatment. What this means is that we can use this mean obtained to further calculate standard deviation, variance, etc. This is the meaning of amenable to algebraic treatment. And lastly, of all the averages, arithmetic mean is affected least by fluctuations of sampling. We can see that the value of mean that we obtain is not affected by the arrangement of values. You can move it anywhere, up or down, but the value of mean will remain fixed. Whereas in case of median, you will need to arrange all the values in a particular order to get the value of median. Now coming to the demerits of arithmetic mean, firstly, it cannot be determined by inspection nor can it be located graphically. For example, like a mode can be determined by observation or graphically, arithmetic mean cannot be determined. Next is, it cannot be used for qualitative characteristics. Mean can be calculated for quantitative values only, that is numerical values. It cannot be used for qualitative characteristics, that is sentimental values like honesty, beauty, morale, etc. Even if one value is missing, we cannot calculate the mean. Next is, arithmetic mean is affected very much by extreme values. This is the reason why in data science we use median in case of outliers. Let us see with an example. Suppose we take five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and we calculate its mean. The mean that we get is three. Now, instead of five, we take an extreme value such as 10, which you can call it as an outlier also. So the mean that we get now when we have taken an extreme value of 10 is 4. Thus, one extreme value or an outlier can cause the mean to change. This is the reason why in case of data science, if there are a lot of outliers, we use median and not mean. Next is arithmetic mean may lead to wrong conclusions. Okay, what does this mean is that let us see a small example. If we have got two students, X and Y. X has scored 60 marks in the first test, after one month he has scored 70 marks in the second test and another one month he has scored 80 marks in the third test. So the average marks that he has scored is 70. Similarly, student Y has scored 80 in the first test, after one month 70 and after one month 60. And he has also scored a mean of 70. That means both the students have uh, gained or uh, obtained uh, 70 marks in, as an average. Now, if you ask anyone who, which student has performed better, then if you just consider arithmetic mean or average, you will see that both have performed similarly. There is no difference. However, if you look into depth of things, you will see that X has scored 16 in the first test, 17 in the next test and 18 in the next test. Okay, that means he has improved over a period of time, whereas the marks in case of Y have deteriorated over a period of time. This means that X has performed better in that semester as compared to Y. This is the meaning that arithmetic mean may lead to wrong conclusions sometime. Arithmetic mean cannot be calculated if the extreme class is open. Basically, we have to convert the inclusive classes in, in, into exclusive classes, which we have deliberately seen in our lecture number 10. And it cannot be used in extremely asymmetrical oblique skewed distribution. You can see that in the skewed distribution, that is the uh, one on the extreme right and left, negatively skewed and positively skewed. You can easily make out that mean will not be the correct reference. Okay, In this, both these cases, we will have to use median. Whereas in case of normal distribution, we can use mean. 
this is what is meant by mean cannot be used in extremely asymmetrical distribution okay so that's all for today in the next video we'll see weighted mean thank you